Welcome back to Game Night tonight for another game unboxing of Plague, Inc. The board game. Can you infect the world? So this game looks exactly like the this app that my my wife has played. It's a little game that you can play on your phone where you are the disease trying to dis infect the entire world and kill off the whole entire population. So ultimately, if you've played Pandemic, this is the reverse of that game. So you are a disease trying to spread yourself across the world and you're trying to infect everybody, everything, kill off all population. So it looks fun and exciting. We love the the game that you can play on your phone. So there you go. You got the there's expansions to this already. Nice. Surgery. Oh man, Armageddon. I'm gonna have to pick that expansion up. All right, so there you have it. You got a plague bot, so for single player, if you want to do that, you can find all the, the rules for that right here. <laughs> Pretty simple. I mean, it's only two-sided right there, so the rules to the game don't look too complex. Even this is pretty light, but it tells you all the contents you're going to have, your rules for playing, how you're going to play it with multiple players, how you're going to infect, you, the evolution of your virus, the death of people, sudden death mode, end, ga end of the game, all the questions, all that stuff that you need to know to be able to play the game right there in the rule book. Um, and then we get on to these little player map boards, it looks like. So you got the evolution slide virus. Uh, it has all the different spots for different evolution space, evolution space. So you're going to get all these evolution spaces that you can uh, make the disease get worse, get better. And then on the back side, you got a bacteria. So this is a... <laughs> so it's got double sided. I guess you can choose which one you want to be. You want to be a virus. You want to be a bacteria. It's just like in the game, um, but that's the blue card. And then you got the virus or the bacteria for the purple player. Um, then you got the virus or the bacteria for the red player. But it looks like each of these kind of changes a little bit based on which side you have because it has different things, the mutation, outbreak, genetic, sequ genetic switch, all that stuff that you need to know to be able to evolve your virus or bacteria in the way that you would like. Um, then you got card mats here. So this helps you know where to put everything for the whole entire game. You got an event card deck, trait card deck, things that will happen throughout the game, but then you got the Plague Bot, so if you're doing a single player, you can have everything kind of like move through, it looks like, a um, little bit by bit. But there you go, double-sided, so multiplayer, single, you got that. And then you've got your, ooh, nice big board here. Let's flip this guy over. Ooh. There we go, oh, let's turn it where I can read it. All right, so we got North America, Europe, Asia, Oceania, o Ocean, Oceania, Oceania. Uh, I don't know how I said it. Africa, South America, North America. But then it looks like you have the mutations or the victory points that you get for how much of the mu of the virus or bacteria you've mutated. Um, and then th the bigger the area, I'm guessing, is like how much you have to do to infect all of those. And then we have different countries that will probably be fighting against them or trying to resist them. But you will ultimately succeed. I have faith in you, believe in you as a virus. And you get a dice that has like the flex of the virus and bacteria in it, you know, so it makes you feel all, all cool as a deadly disease. Got some bags for organization, which I love. Got in this bag here, we've got all the different, looks like the player tokens. So you got blues player tokens, you got reds player tokens. These are like little plastic hexagonal things with a the disease, the little design, the disease design on the front. So if you can see right there, it's like the purple one. It's a little hexagon um, with that. But then also each player has their own DNA little stand thing to mark your progress across the victory point slash evolution of your virus or deadliness of it. So you got the four different players, yellow, purple, red, and blue. So we're gonna toss those back in here for right now. If I can even do that. All right. And then you got the end game bonuses, so things that will help you to get the best best points. So those will come up at the end of the game. Who did the best at killing the continent? Uh, ultimate wipeout, lucky escape, that kind of thing. So I don't know when the game ends ultimately because if you're playing multiplayer, you got multiple viruses out there. So how do you know which one's winning? How do you know? I don't know. That's where the rules come in. You know, reading that whole thing. Yeah, it's a thing. 
All right, so let's open this first deck of cards here. It looks like this is the country deck. So like, let's look here. So country, there's events, country, starting country, country, just tons of events. Starting country again. Yeah, it looks like all of these are just either countries, events, or starting countries. Yeah, there you go. So let's flip through these really quick. I'm going to do half this deck because it is pretty big. So you got like Argentina, you got Australia, you got a corpse transmission, Colombia, bird migration, Indonesia, absorb, Mexico, you got lethal boost, Panama, Spain, Japan, Canada, Olympics. Nice. The Olympics are a good spread. It's great. Germany, emergency care. You got Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. Uh, genetic surge, New Zealand, opportunistic breakdown, the Philippines, you got Turkey, France, Bolivia, here on business, Egypt, the CDC alert, Iran, bomb infected cities, uh, Mongolia, the lethal relapse, P, New Guinea, Sudan, South Korea, Cuba. So each of these has like the different uh, hexes for it. So I'm guessing that's how many of your hexes you can add based on that. But that's just a, a guess there. Pandemic alert. You got Greenland ex execute infected the Kenya. You got government collapse, Nigeria, uh, pilgrimage, Poland, oop, Ukraine. You got Italy, Brazil. Yeah. And each of these has like, it's either bla blank or it has like a sun or uh, snow. So I guess it's just like based on the weather, if it survives or whatnot. Uh, neutralize, Ethiopia, divine intervention, Iraq, DNA flow, Morocco, nuclear strike, Peru, Sweden, South Africa, Chile. You got summer vacation, Iceland, new trade route, Libya, immune reaction, Norway, rioting, Russia, the UK, USA, China, winter vacation, and India. So those are all the different countries that you're going to see. Some of the events that you'll see throughout the game. Um, my guess is there's a few more in this next deck. So let's take a look here. Yep, so more countries because there are a lot of countries in the world. I don't know if you knew that. So there's tons of country cards. It's going to happen. And these are always a pain in the butt to me. All right. And it broke. Great. All right. There we go. Half of Let's get the other half here. So we got some more country cards um, and then some event cards, but it looks like now we're getting into some trait cards. Yeah, so the majority of these are going to be trait cards for your virus. And then you got plague cards. Um, there it is. Get the original video game. That's the, the stuff that we play right there. And then board game companion app. Nice. So you can actually do it at the same time with the app, maybe to help you count and stuff, get the free companion app. I'm going to set those aside because I might need to do that. All right. So we got more countries, a couple events, and then we'll get into the trade cards. So we got soap so shortage, Madagascar, the infected refugees, Pakistan, temporary mutation, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. So those are the country and event cards all right there. Um, and then we move into the, the traits for the different bacterias or viruses. And again, I'm going to do about half of them because there's quite a few cards here. So you got insomnia, abscesses, pneumonia, blindness, sneezing. So it's like how you're going to be able to spread cold resistance, water transmission, dysentery, heat resistance, necrosis, uh, air transmission, rash, cold resistance, system, systemic infection, coughing, water transmission, oh, hemographic shock or something like that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pronounce a lot of these, I'm sure. Heat resistance, internal hemorrhaging, air transmission, psychosis, uh, buboes, bu buboes, uh, yeah, sore throat, coma, water transmission, fever, heat resistance, nosebleed, air transmission, respiratory failure, cold resistance, total organ failure. Love that. Lethality. Just going to kill tons of things and people. Cysts, water transmission, hallucinations. All right. That's only half of that. Man, there's so many traits. Heat resistance, uh, meningitis, 
You got air transmission, uh, pus pustules. Yep. Cannibalism. Nice. Sweating, confusion, water transmission, gastric ulceration, heat resistance, par paralysis, air transmission, seizures, cold resistance, tumors, delirium, water transmission, headache, hypothermia, paranoia, air transmission, skin lesions, cold resistance, vomiting, diarrhea, heat resistance, and insanity. Yeah, because as this is going to spread, you you will go insane. But the lots of different traits there to help your your virus or your bacteria to grow, which makes it even more fun. Lot, lots of stuff going to be happening. So tons of country cards, event cards that are going to happen. But then you're going to be just evolving your, uh, boosting up your virus and your bacteria to be absolutely lethal. You got your game, like the card board for everybody, then the individual player boards, whatever color you're going to be. Um, but man, this looks fun. We, like I said, we love the app. So single player rules, and then you got your overall rules for the whole entire game. But this game looks like a lot of fun because if you enjoy, if you do enjoy the, the actual video game or the app game, uh, pick this up. It's something that's going to be fun. Yes, it's all automated on your app and everything, but this still is a lot of fun. I mean, you're building up your traits the way you want it to. You're uh, evolving that virus and bacteria so that you can take over the world. So the exact opposite of pandemic, but tons of fun either way. So there you have it for the unboxing of Plague, Inc., the board game. Can you infect the world? Oh, yes, you can. So there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to su subscribe down below so you see all future videos of like how-to videos, the game playthroughs of the of this game in particular, but other games um, and then other game unboxings, what have you. But we will catch you on those videos next time on Game Night Tonight.